Hi, it's Ari here with Dennis and Yachting, and I'm here at South Lake Union in Seattle to show you Modi Yacht The Belly, a Marquis 500 2011 model. Let's go check her out. Before we get started on the tour today, I just wanted to show you my favorite three things. My first favorite feature are the entertaining spaces on this boat. You got a large U-shaped seating area in the salon for six, plus an additional seating for two opposite as well as a large bench seat on the aft deck. Uh, and you also have really cool sun pad up front. My second favorite feature on this boat is the styling. Designed by the award-winning super yacht designer, Nulavari Leonard in Italy, you can see that this boat is truly a head turner, not only interior, but exterior as well. And with the updated matte black wrap that was recently added, she is uh, like no other on the market. Third favorite feature is this Volvo Penta IPS joystick connected to three IPS 500 drives. Using this joystick makes it very easy to dock and in close quarter situations. And it even has a high wind mode uh, for docking while in strong winds or currents. Now that you see my favorite three features, let's kick on with the tour. So we're just here, Marquis 500 2011 model. We've got a uh, sun bed area at the front there, stainless steel anchor, really like that. Polished stainless steel, chrome spotlight there as well. Um, I also like if you have a look at the radar and the, uh, the dome up top, as well as the VHF antennas, all painted uh, black, same color. Some of them were painted white, didn't look as nice. So it's kind of really cool how they've kept it all um in trend here and then uh, i've got a brand new it's only about a year or two old the whole paint uh, whole wrap actually it's a matte black super nice shape obviously we're here at uh, south lake union in seattle this is fresh water so um definitely shows on the boats in really great shape for, for a 2011 model uh, as we jump here on the aft deck we've got uh, this uh, Raptor deck or sea deck, got the hydraulic platform here as well. All new upholstery here, nice more modern grey upholstery. Um, and uh, just here on the port side we have a sink as well as a canyon grill. And then underneath we have a Noracle refrigerator freezer as well as a ice maker in here as well. In the middle is really great bottle storage here. Just backing it up to port here. We've got the controls for the hydraulics, shore power breakers in there as well. Uh, starboard really large storage locker and another smaller one up top here too. Also we've got this seating area here on the Arctic which is great for entertaining. A really nice thing if you're having a lot of people over. This switch right here will push the uh, seat back so it gives you more cockpit, cockpit space to, um, to entertain. Really cool feature. Let's head on inside. So I've opened up the salon door here. This one here actually opens too, nice and easy. Pushes over. So we've got the salon doors open uh, and you can see how wide this opening is. You can have a partial opening or all the way. Ideal for entertaining as you can see. Uh, it really brings the indoor and outdoor areas together. Huge U-shaped seating for six on the port side. An additional two love seats here. Flanky and LG TV there as well. Updated Fusion stereo here. Little bar area. We've got some breaker panels in these two cupboards. Good storage below. And uh, here we have the Volvo Penta joystick control. Very makes this boat very very maneuverable. Uh, Raymarine touchscreen the hybrid touch 
Uh, we've got two 12 inch uh, screens here, also the large Volvo Penta info display here, and uh, Ray Marine uh, Ray 55 VHF radio there. Got the autopilot here as well, um, trim tabs, this is a spotlight control. Another nice thing is if, uh, to save you leaning over each time to adjust course with the autopilot, the boat comes with a Raymarine uh, wireless autopilot control as well. Alright, let's head over to the galley. So we're here in the galley. Deep stainless steel sink here. We've got a two burner princess uh, electric cooktop. Got some good storage there. Cuisinart induction oven, a microwave. And we've got fridge freezer drawers from Vitra Frigo there. Little inbuilt trash can. And lots of good storage around here. Some spice storage there as well. Let's head down to the cabins. So just under here you have your sump pump and under the forward plate are the two um, vacuum flush pumps. So uh, they make everything easy to get to for servicing. So master cabin up here. Easy to get around the berth there. And we've got an ensuite head here. Back your flush head. Decent sized shower there as well. And we've got a soul TV up here as well. Moving forward to starboard. We have a day head or a guest head. Uh, and it is also doubles up as an ensuite. So here is the uh, the VIP guest cabin. Shower in there as well. And to starboard, we have another guest cabin. So two single berths. And um, a yeah, good amount of storage here. This is actually the cushion for the coffee table or the dining table in the salon that doubles up as a uh, additional berth. Let's head on to the VIP. Large berth there, got a double bed, really large porthole. And uh, another little TV here. Good amount of storage here, got some drawers and a uh, closet as well. Let's head back up. Just before we head outside, you can see we've got the uh, Cruise Air reverse cycle heating and air conditioning. And uh, let's head on down to the engine room. Okay, let's head on down to the engine room. So down here we've got triple Volvo Penta IPS 500s. Uh, you can see the pods back there as well. So even though they're an IPS 500, they're actually only 370 horsepower because uh, it gives you 500 horse of efficiency being in a pod config configuration. So really nice setup. You see all the strainers are nice and clean. It's in decent shape. So. No, being fresh water, got an updated Pro Nordic charger there, Charles charger in the back there, some additional breakers, and we've got our 23 kW cola generator as well. A couple of battery boxes to to both port, oh, sorry, starboard and to port here as well. Um, and let's pop this open and check inside the gen. Super clean. Normally I'm used to seeing, you know, some sort of rust or things like that in the tray below. But she's in really nice shape. You can see it's been serviced by the dealer last uh, because it, um, uh, or whoever did the service did a, a, a good job because uh, it does have the genuine filters on it. Normally uh, I rarely see um, 
when they do the service that they put genuine filters so that's really good to see and then just to start it we've also got the reverso oil change system there let's head back up on deck so we're just heading up on the starboard side here so we've got the uh, radar kvh up top there as well got the antenna tv antenna too it's all in decent shape here i do see just a little bit of i've got my light on so you can see it even better a uh, little bit of crazing here just starts there to there nothing too bad you know a couple little spots of that um, just on the this hard top area um, there's one on that side as well but aside from that the boats in uh, the gel coats in pretty decent shape uh, decently high handrails here just about knee height and we've also got the handrails on the port side as well inboard side Big cushion up on the bow here. Quick windlass connected to the Delta anchor here. All polished stainless steel. Really good to see. Pop this open here. Just got some storage there. And then uh, got the washdown locker here. You can see on this side, just a couple little spots here. So these doors here actually close as well. Just to give you uh, more protection on the transom. It's kind of cool. Thanks for coming on the tour of the 2011 Marquis 500 The Belly here in Seattle, Washington. For further information, feel free to reach out to me, Ari Sher, anytime on 772-240-0888 or by email at ari at denisonyachting.com. See you on the water.